Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. Today is going to be very, very exciting. If all goes according to plan anyway. But to start off, let us go ahead and take a look at the black market. I have almost 200 shards. Let's take a look if there's anything useful. Not really there. Ooh, mud box, but no. I'm going to save them just in case something very important like this shows up. Yes, in between episodes, I did check the black market and look at what we got. We got another cake seal. Which we are definitely going to be running today, if all goes well. But as you can probably tell from my inventory and all of this stuff, we have a little bit of a plan today. One of which is the following. I have one Echo Gem. I really want these Iron Furnaces. Specifically, I want the Augment Factory, right? And to get that, I need an Echo Park. To get an Echo Park, I need four Echo Gems, and I currently have one for now because if i just go ahead and take you on over to the bounty table over here you will be able to see that we have this one mine 30 larimar ore in the vault and we get one echo gem i don't care about any well i do care about the other stuff but this is the main thing and then this thing showed up which we need to mine 19 benutide ore and it gives us two echo gems which means if my math is correct one plus one plus two equals four so that if we do all of these we should be good now i unfortunately already took this one which is rooted eye war and that is a lot of chromatic iron but i feel like benutite can be gathered fairly quickly and so i have a little bit of a plan you see in the inscription table all of these are very expensive they all almost all of them require echo gems except for one of them which is this, the Crystal Caverns inscription. Now, I'm not 100% sure, but I am, I'm, I'm counting on it. This should be the room where ore spawn in the crystals. It's going to be potentially dangerous, but this one we can actually afford. And it occurred to me that we can actually get infused vault catalysts that has plentiful, which increases the amount of vault ores. See where I'm going at? So I believe that it is time to get the seal of the architect out. I was planning on making a living crystal. However, with, uh, <laughs> with, with the recent turn of events, that is not going to be what we're going with. Now, I'm pretty sure, did I not have an, another extended uh, thing here? Maybe not. Maybe this is the one that I have. Oh, I have two extended. I already, already have them. Okay, so first of all, we are going to be making a bunch of new catalysts, of which we're just going to do this. Boom. And let's go ahead and add them to here and let's see what we get. I mean, we already have two plentiful here. I'm just hoping to get more. All right. First one, plentiful. Awesome. And gilded. Okay. Not what we need right now, but still really good. Extended. That's another extended. We can use that definitely because another plentiful. Because we will be needing that and ornate. Okay, so... Out of those, that was actually not too bad. So we have three extended, which is these over here. And then we have four plentiful, which is going to increase the vault ores with 80%. Yikes. Now I do realize this and this durability does not seem very ideal for this. Um, also, I wouldn't mind something with a little bit more copiously. So maybe we go ahead and make a little bit of a another thing. We need some more chromatic steel and some more vault bronze. But I think getting a new tool, even though we are very close to level 50, is going to be worth it. Actually, I might actually make a vault right pick. That way it has a little bit more, you know, a ability to like, well, it has more capacity and also, I believe, more durability. I could be wrong. Maybe not more durability, but more, more capacity for sure. Um, and I can add a couple of things to this, like mining speed and, well, primarily I want copiously and a lot of it. I did, by the way, in between episodes, go ahead and remove a bunch of the crystals that we are not going to be using. So basically any, I went ahead and removed anything with 30 size and above, because I really don't think that is something that we're going to be using. So all of these are copious. So we can add those. We still have a capacity of 135. The more copious leads that we have, the better, the more ores that we're hopefully going to potentially get. And I just want a ton of mining speed, but maybe we get some of the ones that are like the biggest. Not because I want to use the biggest, but I'm not going to use this tool for anything else anyway. I don't think item quantity is going to affect this. Ores can't be trapped to my knowledge. Uh, so I think really... 
just getting ooh, definitely not using that. That's way too big or too too good that is. So if we just get something like this maybe could increase durability as well, but I don't see me needing anything other than this. Because I'm not going to use it to like get a living affinity gilded or anything like that, and I don't want hammering on it. So I think I think this is going to be just it. I did just use quite a few uh, things there, but it has quite a lot of repair slots and it still has a little bit more capacity. So I think all in all, this isn't too bad of a thing. We're going to still give it that. We're going to definitely give it that and unbreaking. And this is going to be our ore breaker. And in fact, I'm going to give it that name. Mr. Ore Break. Er. Yes, that that that's going to do it. Now, I am banking on something here. And that is the fact that I forgot a th crucial thing about the seal of the architect, and that is you need quite a few empty inscriptions in order to fill out this thing. I don't think I have many empty inscriptions. In fact, I have none. I'm sure I've been picking them up, but I don't think I have that many. I forgot that about the architect vault. Um, Yeah, I don't have any inscriptions. That is problematic. Okay. Well, because uh, that is a big problem, actually, because... Uh, oh, I have... Okay. Oh, well, let's go ahead and craft this, because we will want it no matter what. So this completion is 20%. We want that way higher than that. Um, instability is 8.1. And we need to craft empty inscriptions in order to get the completion percentage up. Otherwise, it's not going to go well. So that is the oral plan. However, it is not going according to my plan plan. <laughs> so this, when we add this, it's only going to give a time of 1 minute and 22 seconds. This is going to give 1 minute and a half. So we need a bunch of empty inscriptions in order to go ahead and complete this thing. But this is definitely going to be a work in progress, and we are getting very, very close. Now, of course, we can still get this from normal vaults, and... I don't think we should hesitate with uh, completing this vault, uh, this cake crystal, I should say. So let's go ahead and add that to this. I will, however, this uh, level is 44. I will, however, go ahead and eat a bunch of these burgers because if I can get maybe two levels or so, three maybe, then we're going to definitely be able to reach level 50 in this episode. So let me just go ahead, eat all of these. That's one level, and actually an expertise point, that's really good as well, and hopefully this will reach us to level 46. This is definitely reaching us to level 46, and I'm just going to need the rest of them, because why not? We definitely have plenty of burger stuff right there, and we should have lettuce up there as well, yes. So, expertise point, uh, what am I going to get into it? Two re-rolls? I might take that. Actually, I'm definitely taking that. Unspread skill points, um, haste could be a thing, speed... Would also be nice. Um, or javelin damage, but I feel like that is already pretty high. Actually, I'm gonna upgrade healing because I said I wanted to do that in the last episode, and we're actually one level off for having it completely uh like maxed out in, in levels. So I think without any further ado, I'm definitely going to, however, bring this with me. Because if I find any ores, I will definitely be wanting to use that. But I don't think I'm missing anything other than my satchels now, actually. And for this one, well, it's a cake vault, so I can't really determine anything specific about it, like if it's going to have ores or anything like that. We can do one more reroll, though. I think I'm actually going to take that because, um, yeah, what can I let's see? Uh, chromatic iron is pretty expensive. Well, it's, it, it's a little bit expensive and tedious to make, so I will take that. And I think, without any further ado, I think I have everything that I need. Do I have plenty of vault gold, just in case? Yes, I do. All right. Okay, this is our second cake vault. Let's do it. <laughs> that, that's very funny. That, that's very, very funny. You see, uh, the first time we did a cake run in this series, uh, we got the festive, I think it was the festive theme, something like that. Everything was basically cake-like. Basically, this thing fitted in perfectly. And uh, see an issue between the snow and the... It, it's just not supposed to be easy, is it? Um, but then anyway, I, I feel like I've forgotten something. But let's go ahead. Let's get the cake. And I'm going to rush as much as I can to get, like, cake to level 15, 20. 
that is a lot, but like if I can get it up high, the better loot I'm going to get. Um, I will, however, I do want stuff like this, but actually, mm, I need to be smart about this. You need to be smart about your time. Um, so I'm just going to focus on. Ooh, it's definitely going to be down here. Yeah, it's going to be down here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to get the cake to like maybe 10 levels before I actually go ahead and try and that is and loot stuff. That's just going to be the most optimal thing to do. And I'm going to hope that we get a bunch of easy cakes just like this one. And I feel like that is over here. Yep. Nice. Uh, yeah, because as, as many of these easy ones as we can get, the more time we're actually going to have on our hands. So if we could just like spawn right here in front of the next gateway that would be absolutely amazing but that does not seem to be the case for this one maybe it's down below maybe potentially i don't know <laughs> definitely not downstairs definitely not downstairs not getting any hint of it at all it must be above uh i feel like i could just saw it but that i think it's just a chest imagine if i accidentally uh left the the vault before i was actually ready to leave that would be funny huh that that would be really funny not Turn on the magnet, get rid of these guys. Get a bunch of the soul shots back that I used before we went in here. There we go. Okay, I know the gate is over here in this direction. Ooh, vendor room. Two vendor rooms right next to each other. I will visit them in a moment. Where is this stupid cake? Cake, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Nice. All right, let's check those vendor rooms. Nothing of interest in here. Let's check the final one. I really shouldn't be doing this, but it's fine. Ooh, yep, yep. <laughs> Definitely getting that so we can run another one if we so desire. That's great. That's a great find, honestly. Please get out of here. That's where I came from. Yep, that is where I want to go. Bye bye. Next. Wait. <laughs> Hello. Very nice to finally meet you again. Um,. I don't think the ore amount is going to be a whole lot. And also, the cake is nearby. Where is it? It's probably right in front of me somewhere, isn't it? Like in here, behind here. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Go away. Where is it? It's going to be above somewhere. Where? I... Oh, that is... I mean... I... I should have deselected the... The thing, but oh well. Here we go. I am going to have this... Here. And we need to get as many of different gems of, as we can. Now, the Benutites aren't going to count for this one because I didn't select it. I have the other one instead, like the Wutadai Ore. So I'm hoping... I mean, we're, we've got, probably got to do another one of these. Maybe not a cake vault today, but another vault. Hopefully we can get that after getting the Wutadai then. I mean, I am kind of banking on getting the, getting all the Wutadai. If not, then... It could be problematic, couldn't it? Okay, get rid of you. And I mean, the hope is also to potentially get, like, Echo Wars in this. It could be possible. I would, be, I would love for it to, to be possible. <laughs> like, oh, no, that's not it. But that's the Scallium. I'll take it. We will also need to be making some parks. So this is also why getting all this is really good. That's an Echo one. Wait, imagine if we got, like, five. Not scripted. Not scripted. <laughs> I, 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 I can leave this cake vault now. I, I, I'm not going to, but that... Okay. Um, I promise this is not scripted. I... That... Wow. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, Echo Park is no longer an issue, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still definitely gonna get those bounties, but like, wow, that <laughs> just wow, man. If I had taken, if I had removed the wood to die one, uh, if I had removed the wood to die one, we would have definitely gotten it by now with all the Benutite, because there's so much in here. But I'm not too worried. Benutite is fairly easy to get our hands on. All right, let's move on now. Uh, that was a great success, a very great success. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that was amazing. Now I do need to remember as well. Oh man, my mana is slow at regenerating. I need, is it like right here? 
Ow, go away. Where, where is it? Where is it? it? It's telling me it's right here. So what, that, right there. Nice. But yeah, as I was about to say, I do need to remember as well that the further in I get, the more dangerous the vault is going to become. So from that point of view, I'm actually kind of happy I leveled up to 46. I don't know if it's actually going to have an effect because my gear is still the same, so probably not. But yeah, I mean, the higher level the vault is, the more difficult it's going to get. So I'm not going to complain too much on that front. I see a door here. Vendor. Let's see what it is. Mystery egg. Don't really care for it at this point. Nolly star, I will take. We do need those. Oh, hey, fellas. Please go away. Please don't lock me in here. That would be very... That would be very bad if you were to do that. Thank you. I mean, I might as well get this. Might as well. Might as well. Quick grab. And I'm here anyway, so I might as well get this too. Ow. You guys are absolutely a pain. There we go. Get this. Not gonna get that. Too slow. And how do I get back up? <laughs> how do I, how, how do I get back up? I'm pretty sure that that is where I came from. So we are gonna go. Actually, I have no idea. Yep, this is where I came from. That's a waste of time. Ooh, more ores. This is actually an ore room. This is pretty good. I will use it to my advantage and take as much of it as I can. Oh, you can actually go behind there. That's not fun. For you probably. Yeah, look at that. Pen you type. Easy. All right, so that is the Laramar. This should be very easy to get here. Hopefully. I mean, imagine if we got another Echo War. And it dropped like eight or something. I don't know what the max is, but like, imagine. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, that is 10 Laramar War so far. Dug out. Uh, can we get behind here by any chance? Let's get that and that. Nice. I would definitely complete the Laramar one. I would have completed. Man. I'm so mad. I would have completed the um the Benutide one if I had gotten that selected. Oh well. Ah, that's a cake guarded by a lot of creepy crawlies. And there's something else as well around here. That is a dungeon door, which I will not say no to because I do like myself a dungeon. There we go. Get that. Nice. Oh, that didn't kill you. Wow. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's check this out. Ooh, hard, and we already are nine nine cakes. Yeah, I'm not not risking it for that, I don't think. Um Okay, I actually did place a block where I came in. I'm pretty no. I didn't apparently. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is the right way. I could be wrong though. I am not wrong. Yay! And that's okay. That was easy enough. So we're going this way now. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, we're at 10 cakes, 12 minutes. I probably should start looting the rooms now, to be fair. To actually be able to get some stuff out of this, other than just the ores. So I think I'm gonna start to slowly do that. As I come across stuff and search for the cake anyway. Instead of just running through it like I've been doing so far. Man, you are tough. Owie. I mean, I'm not too worried if I die. I should be able to buy myself back, but... It'll be nice not having to do so. <laughs> I spent a lot of coins. So, ooh, gilded. A lot of gilded. <laughs> Actually, it's fine. <laughs> I love javelin. Love it so much. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Nice. Get that. That. Yeah, the, the, the trap chess with the poison has kind of been broken for a while since the last update. Don't know why. Oh, look at that. The healing cloud from something. Not sure what I have that gives healing cloud, but I will not complain. Okay, the cake is around here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Definitely down here, right? No? Where? Oh, that is wasn't even down there. Okay, so we need to go in that direction. Just need to check this vendor room real quick. Ooh, trinket scrap. I feel like that's probably worth it. Maybe. I don't know. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe? Maybe not. You guys will probably let me know down below in the comments. But while you're down there, leave a like if you're enjoying the video. Greatly appreciate it. Helps support the channel. That... Huh. <laughs> that's funny. It spawned right next to the, to the walkway. That's kind of funny. Are you sure the cake is up here somewhere? Nope. Never mind. It's probably down below. I saw signs of it, but... Uh, turns out that was wrong. I'm forgetting my poison Nova ability, actually. I'm completely forgetting that I have it. That's not ideal. 
I assume it's going to be down here somewhere. Yep, right there. I just need to fight off the horde. Whatever this is. Ooh. Oh, I need to be careful, actually. I need to be very careful. Ooh, ooh, dear. You guys are quite fast. Quite fast. Very fast, actually. I hear mean things. Oh, no. More stuff spawned in. You know what? I'm just going to get this cake now. And, um, move over here. Yeah. I don't, I don't see a, I don't see a reason to stay around. I, I think it's fine. That's where I came from. Going in this way. And I'm out of mana. <laughs> and I can't even heal. Oh dear. What on earth was that? That, that was scary. As in, I don't like that scary kind. Come on. I wanted to preserve the man, but come on now. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was a bit too close for comfort. Okay, we're on cake 14. Seven minutes remaining. I really should start looting a lot more now. If I want to get optimal profit from this. I mean, we already have like a budget for us. Ooh, actually, I don't have the lemon mile just yet. Ooh, boy. Um... Maybe I keep going. Uh, well, uh, we'll get it. We're not in a rush. We have five echo echo gems already. We're not in a particular rush. Since when did you guys spawn in? That's worrying. <laughs> I have definitely not been here yet. Ooh, champion. I need to be careful here. I need to be really careful, actually, because this could be bad. <laughs> if I get hit by him, that could be a lot of damage. And I have 15 cakes, which is a lot. Don't have it. Oh, actually, it wasn't too. Ow, it wasn't too bad the first time. Please, there we go. Nice. Ooh, unidentified relic fragment. Gotta love to see that. Ooh, living, 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 living. It's good. Gonna pop this potion real quick. Can't use javelin. Just don't have enough mana for it. That's fine. And the cake is right there. Perfect. Okay. I would have liked some more living chests because, you know, inscriptions and whatnot. That would be kind of cool to have more of, but oh well. <laughs> Let's get that. Okay, we're getting close to having to exit, just not quite there yet. Ooh, strength. Yes, I'll take it. Definitely taking it, especially against you and you. Okay, this could be the last room, depending on how soon I find the cake. I'm just gonna loot a bunch. Um, every room should have a cake submitter thing. I think we all know we kind of want to get out of here. So I need to find that. Oh, mental room. I need to find that in here, ideally fast-ish. Let's get all that. Let's check out this. Maybe something good. Loot belt, another one. Actually, I think... Oh, no, no, no I, I don't... Have enough? Oh, I really want that. <laughs> Ooh, sour orange, but not good enough. Um, yeah, I definitely don't have enough of that. Oh well, that's unfortunate. I would have liked that. That would have been great to have. Now, where's that cake submission thing? That's definitely not the place. I don't even know where the cake is. Let alone where the cake submission thing is for this room. And here comes the welcoming committee. Or the goodbye committee. Something committee. Some actually just an angry mob of mobs. That's also a thing. Am I crazy or does this room not have a submission thing? Hello, what is this? I mean I won't complain if it's good loot, which or NHS can't complain. Whoa! What is this? This is a pretty good find, actually. I'll take all of this. Um but then I really, really need to find a way out of here. <laughs> Ooh, foul trinket. Won't say no to that. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, this was good. Okay. I am starting to panic a little bit. Because I don't know where to go. Just in case, I'm grabbing my kiwis because I could be needing them. This is... Not the way out. Move. Okay. Can't find the submission thing here. I'm gonna... Oh no. Uh... 
Oof. I may need a lemon. I might need a lemon. Just to be able to find... I know I've been seeing them. I just need to make sure that I can actually find it again. I'm gonna eat this. Yep, that's gonna give me another minute. Hopefully I can go back, retrace my steps until I find one. I feel like I've seen one in almost every room. And fairly close to the... Oh no. The doors as well. That's a thing that is... Uh, yes, perfect. So good. Well completed. I can greet a little bit. Or fight for my life. <laughs> That's another thing I can do. Nope. Have seven seconds. Come on. Get up to this. And boom! I think I got maybe half of it. I don't know. But oh man, 24,000 XP. Not too bad. That was something. We leveled up once. That's pretty good. We got a cake great thing and quite a decent amount of well i mean the main prize is this <laughs> the five echo gems right there i mean that that's not bad at all look at that we can actually go ahead and do this kinda kind of we can make the echo park now i think if i have more of that do i have yes we do so we can actually make that an echo park now which means we can make this but we still need to unlock iron furnaces and we have currently one holy star to our name. Uh, this one right here, not that one. And we have two in there. Question is how much... Yeah, 11 hour chances is not great, is it? <laughs> uh, but oh well, it is a step in the right direction. Not to mention we got another cake vault thing. So that goes up right there. Trinket scrap. I don't know if we have any already. We do not. I believe we can use this. To if it would let me use the. Th oh. Okay. Why did I buy this then? I can't see a use case for it. I'm sure there's one. I just can't see it for some weird reason. But oh well. Still, not a bad haul whatsoever. Oh yeah, we got a trinket as well. Okay, okay, this, this is getting good. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop you into there. Let's go ahead and put you up here where you belong. And let's take a look. We could get our first relic today as well. Maybe. Oh, come on. There we go. What is this one for? Nassar? I don't think that is what we have the most of. No. That is... Yeah. Man, that, that could have been great. We have this one, which is almost done. We have this, which is almost done. So... Oh, well. Get, getting close to... Maybe? Nope. Okay, that, that's fine. Let's see what the trick is all about. In the meantime, while well, it is running, man, I have too many stuff here. Uh, ooh, stone, st stone. What is a stone? Plus one to all learned abilities. What is my current one? Portable cat grants a dodge chance for incoming projectiles and removes block damage from explosives. I'm gonna keep that, but as soon as that goes, I'm definitely putting on the stone because that is actually not too bad can i go yep i can put that in there nice and this is just a blue pouch a bunch of cool stuff useful but not super exciting to look at in total we got seven inscription pieces which considering we didn't get that many living tests actually isn't too bad and i'm going to put the final heal into oh that's why i'm starting to lose mana it costs a lot now okay right i that's hmm I may need to scale down my uh, some of my levels. Might need to use a regret orb thingy, because while I do love them, I can live with them being a little bit lower tier for the sake of having more mana. All right, a double pouch. We got two jewels. Mining speed item quantity. I'll take it. Mining speed. That is pretty good as well. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got some common plus vault gear. Not too bad. Let's take a look. I mean, this does have plus five attack damage. Uh, sorry, the tank damage, but mine is still significantly better. None of this is really good. This is not good compared. Let's take a look at the helmet, though. Extra mana regen, but I could just... Well, I can't re-roll my suffixes, but... Actually, it's less in the armor thing, so no. 13 armor? One less prefix and more ability power. 
Nah, I'm not. Uh, maybe. Ooh. Okay, I mean, anything with the stars and ooh, but I don't think it's really an upgrade. I mean, it has more armor, but not really what I want. All of this has good stuff, but I want I want more than this. <laughs> I, I'm asking for more, essentially, here. Uh, there we go. Let's melt all that. Don't care for my, much of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, in theory, in theory, if I go ahead and take these... Oh, oh this is... Uh, the, this right here, holding this, this is maybe one of the most valuable thing. Okay, maybe, maybe not, but it's it's one of my most valuable items on this base. Now, in theory, I don't remember the the different gems used for like getting like the uh, the pogs. This will probably cover it, right? We need to make seven of these. We can make nine. Let's go. We just need eight though. Don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. Just in case. There we go, get rid of these. Oh. And we put them like this and do that and ah, Echo Pog has been born. Look at that beauty. I think this might actually be our first one. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is our first Echo Pog of the series. That is amazing. Now we can't actually go ahead and make the factory yet because uh, <coughs> we need, uh, need, need knowledge stars, but we're, when we're on the road to, to get there, we're getting closer and I forgot to open that. So we're going to do that now. All right, let's see what we get. Uh, hmm. Interesting. We got some jewels, 33 size. Not even going to save that. I'm going to be very strict with my jewels. Like I'm probably going to become even stricter than I already am because we have so many. Uh, these are some decent uh, gear though, potentially. Um, nope. Uh, mm, uh, actually, uh, nope, not as good. Nope. And uh, extra health, but no. Uh, wait, hold on. That shield is kind of cool though. Kind of cool looking, has good durability, block chance, thorns damage, but it has less and yeah, no, no. I'm also very critical with gear if you haven't noticed. Also, I'm going to go ahead and abandon this because I don't care for it, to be completely honest. Not when this is on the line. And I mean, that's Benyotite that is so easy to get. So we'll mark that down. And I know this episode is getting kind of long. We did get the Echo Park. I think that is a good goal for this episode. However, I do want to run one more vault. It'll be a quick one, maybe like a montage thing. Um, but I do want to quickly run one. Just one more. It, it, it's addicting. It's addicting. I was just about to fly all the way over here to this place so I could get more pickles. But I realized that I'm pretty... <laughs> swamp sigh. Yes. I'm pretty sure I can just go, yep, right on over here and then fly a little bit into the water and time to test this theory. If we can actually bone meal pickles. Oh, you can. You can bone meal the sea pickles while underwater, while they're on like this, the, the corals. So if we just see, okay, so it doesn't work on that, but it works on this, on the coral. That's good to know. Uh, that's 27. That's all I need. I can go ahead and use this while underwater. That's kind of cool, actually. And boom, just like that, we're back home. <laughs> that was your trip, but I love it. And boom, there we go. That is a crystal crafted and time to grab everything. We're going to save this cake hunt for another time, uh, just because we've already done one. And I don't know what this vault is actually going to contain. So we need to get the scavenger uh the crystal i was about to say pouch as well not gonna apply anything to this crystal just gonna run it see what happens and this again is going to be a very very short run i think i have everything that i need i do indeed let's go That's not creepy at all.
Hoo-wee! That was a run if I've ever seen one. Wow, that was productive. 48,000 Volt XP, 313 mobs unalived, almost 200 chests looted, and I don't even know, yep, 53 ores mined. I completed one of the bounties. Uh, yeah, 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 get, get lost. Uh, <laughs> I completed one of the bounties, which was this one, and I got very close to the final one, but unfortunately ran out of time. I could have eaten another lemon, but I didn't really want to waste it. Uh, because we're not in a rush as such. Also, I think I have to set a nap. Now, while I do have the skill point on screen, I do believe... Oh, okay, this is the one I was thinking about. I wanted to upgrade the uh, javelin so that it was ethereal, changing, uh, charging no mana for the throw, but that has already been maxed out. I would love to get, uh, while at full health, I'm not really at full health often, yet I am because I use the healing a lot. So I think I'm going to start specking into this. I think it's going to be pretty good. So I found a knowledge star in that, but I also bought this, a chaos vault catalyst, which I've never had one of these before. I assume you just throw it in here nope you don't i actually don't know how to use this thing um i'm gonna add it here and you guys will uh i'm sure let me know down below in the comments how you actually go ahead and use that i guess you apply it to the crystal and then hope it's not too bad or you just live with it i i guess <laughs> it did cost 50 like four gold coins so i hope that wasn't a bust um but yeah, 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 i'll consider it worth it we got 15 Relic Booster Packs, a ton of different ores, which is cool, but 139 Knowledge Essence. Look at that. That is enough for four, almost five uh, Knowledge Stars, which combined with the two, that is seven. So we're technically just about only two Knowledge Stars away from being able to do this. So in the next episode, we will definitely be unlocking Iron Furnaces. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, a bunch of ores. I guess I can just extract all that and just go boop. There we go. And all of that has been taken care of. I love that feature. And this stuff is cool, but I'll sort that off camera. Gear, do we have anything? Ah, hmm. We actually have some stuff. I'm quantity, copiously. I'm quantity again, not too bad. This is a bit of uh, too big of a size. Uh, yeah, they're, they're okay, I'll, I'll keep them. Now, I'm not considering this gear to be really good, so let me just skim through this real quick. Okay, these boots are actually an upgrade. 13 armor, that's three and more armor points than I already have. A little bit less movement speed, but that's fine. I do need the health, though. I do need the health, but these overall, those would be an upgrade, so I'm going to keep those. Everything else, some of it is an upgrade, but then there's less prefix slots or less suffix slots, and I really want to have the max, so... I'm not picky. I'm not picky because I'm not really in the need for new gear at the moment. So I can take my time and just really wait until something really good comes along. Let's see if we get anything up. Oh, that's one already. Two. That's it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let, let's see here. Uh, I think we already have this one. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's that one. Uh, that's a third for the uh, Nassar set. Richard E. Warriors, this is another one from the Warrior set. And this is also from the Warrior set. Um, I feel like I need a double chest for this now. Uh, let me just fix that. There we go, that's a little bit more organized. So still not a relic yet, but we're getting really, really close. Oh wow, I didn't realize we got a park. <laughs> I don't know from what, but uh, hey, we got a park. We, we earned a park back, that's not too bad. I'm not gonna complain, I'll sort this off camera again. Let's open this, that's the bouncy stuff. That is the echo gem, a lovely jovely, add that to this. Let's open, let's open this and, ooh, oh wait, there's a, there's a chance. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a small chance. Oh, uh, wow. Okay, so we got an augment from the deep mesa, that's cool. A bunch of jewels, another chest plate, another shield, helmet. Okay, overall, not too bad. An axe, don't really care for those. Ooh, mining speed, love those. Nope. Uh, this is an epic shield, and that's actually an upgrade in the durability and the block chance with prefixes empty, and it looks cool. I'm gonna keep that. That's not really an upgrade. This is mere compared and don't really care. 
these two pieces of gear, I will be fixing these in between episodes. So stay tuned for the next episode when I reveal what I will have actually done to these or what I will have been rolling. Anyway, let's see. Ah, that's a duplicate. <laughs> that's a duplicate. I recognize it. Yep, that's unfortunate. Oh, well, getting closer, though. So ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. We're getting very, very close to be able to unlocking this, which we will in the next episode. In between episodes, I'll be fixing these. And uh, yeah, we are getting a very, very, very close. And the progression is not too bad. In the next episode, I think we will be reaching level 50 as well. If not by running one world, we will definitely do it by eating a ton of burgers because I have plenty to make some of the high tier burgers and I will not hesitate to do so because that will be a huge milestone. So plenty to do in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. It greatly helps out the channel a ton. Subscribe if you are brand new and enable those notifications. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.